I saw the copy of my first book from the publisher, I, I couldn't believe it. But when I went to Book Expo in New York, I met with readers and it just made it feel more real for me and I was just super happy. When I was eight years old, I was watching Cosmos with my family and Neil deGrasse Tyson said that our bodies were made out of stardust, so I instantly ran upstairs and just started to write my first book. I wanted all the children to know. I took things that interest me. I researched a lot about them, see if they got my brain to be like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. And I think the most challenging part of the process is taking hard concepts and science and make them fun for children. But once that's done, it's, it's really the best part. I go onto many different sites. I look up, like, are these real facts? Are these fake facts, you know? We have Michael Shermer. We have a lot of women scientists helping us. We have other book people helping us, which is very nice. It is fun to think that out of billions and billions of other solar systems in our universe, there could be millions of other planets in their own. Goldilocks zones, spinning around stars that could support life like we have on Earth. My dad helped me a lot. Like, I would draw something and then he would bring it to the illustrator. My dad's probably my, my most favorite part is working with him. and He helps me with the whole process and I just write the story and then he organizes it and it's really fun. Science just honestly helps me think more and it gives me interested in so many different things and just learning about space, Saturn and all its moons, it just gets me the chills every single time I think about it. I love non-fiction books. That's kind of a weird thing about me. <laughs> Most of my friends love fiction books. Non-fiction just teaches you more and you just know that it's real and you don't have to imagine, but it's fun to imagine yourself in a different world, but in non-fiction and just imagining yourself in something that actually happened, like when Anne Frank was hiding away, you know? You could imagine yourself in that situation without it being not real. The most important thing to do is probably make something that makes you passionate and the readers will feel this when they read what you wrote.